Here's Brody Brazil. Okay, maybe you're watching this video right now. You searched it because it is the night before your check ride. Your private, your instrument, your commercial, your multi, your CFI ride. I don't know what you're taking, but maybe that's why you have found this video. Or maybe it's upcoming. It doesn't really matter. I'm here to do this video on the night before your check ride to give you some tips. I've been there before a multitude of times. I did not really enjoy these nights before, right? I'm an over-preparer, a bit of a panicker, <laughs> a bit of a worst-case scenario person, but that, that's just me, and it always turned out well, right? So I want to assure you that if you're uh, you know, stressed out, panicked right now, don't worry about that. I'm here to guide you with a handful of tips, literally five things that I've got to pass along. Number one, how much in these final hours, like let's assume that it's nighttime and tomorrow is your big day, how much can you actually learn in these final few hours anyways? You know what I forgot to say at the beginning of this video? Twas the night before your check ride. <laughs> anyway, uh, time is better spent for you revisiting all the areas that you know you're a bit deficient on or weak on. Uh, airspace, weather minimums, systems of the airplane, stuff that you know, hey, I've got a little bit of loose change there. I want to, you know, kind of tighten this up. Better than going down the rabbit hole of something brand new that you were not ever taught on or you're not even sure is going to be on the check ride. Like it gets dangerous when you start getting slippery here at the last moment. Go back to the things you were taught. Go back to the things that you are least comfortable with that you were taught. Revisit those. Try and really soak those in because you should be able to rely on all the things that you're comfortable with. Revisit the areas of known weakness in your training. If you're trying to go somewhere and, and, and secure something, do that before you pick up something brand new and complicate that even worse. Okay, next thing, next piece of advice here. If you don't know something, are you quickly able to find it? Now, this may not work with all examiners, but a lot of them, I'll be honest, they're impressed by this. Uh, what was the weather minimums for that Class C airspace? Well, you know what? Uh, I think it was... Uh, hang on. Let me just... I got it tabbed right here in the far. Right? Let me just double check. And they'll probably look at you and say, yeah, you got to know this by heart, kid. But they're going to let you slide because you knew exactly where to found it. You had it tabbed in your far aim or you had some other place where you knew exactly where you're going to get it. You didn't go to the glossary. You're not searching for things. You literally have it right in front of you. You have it accessible. This will buy you a few lifelines. So as we get back to this night before your check ride, just know where things are, right? And especially those areas of, of known weakness, know where to refer to. Have those pages tabbed, marked, whatever it is. If it's on your iPad, just know how to get to it in a relatively instant fashion. May not save you over and over again, but if it's the one or two times during your ride that you needed it, it might make the difference between pass or fail. Okay, I'm not a doctor, I'm not a sleep expert, but you may not actually get much rest tonight. You may not sleep tonight. The adrenaline is kicking. Believe me, this does happen. And you'll be fine tomorrow. Adrenaline is going to take over your day. So long as you're not chronically fatigued, like you haven't been sleeping for weeks, that might present more of an issue. And I urge you to think about what you're doing. Maybe seek some actual professional help, not from your old friendly YouTube CFI. But understand that if this is just because of the nature and you know it's because of this moment and you're worked up, that's fine. Adrenaline will get you through tomorrow. You're going to crash hard tomorrow night. There's no, not the airplane, you in general, uh, but do at least your best to rest when you can. When you feel like you've done your work, you're prepared, you've got everything how you want it to be, just rest, right? Rest the brain, rest the body, just lay there. Don't look at the clock, just rest. You know, if you want, if you need music, you need a podcast, something else to distract you, totally fine. Get rest, even if you know you're not going to get sleep. Okay, tip number four here. What is exactly most productive in these final hours? And I've already said revisit the areas of known weakness. Let's say you've done that and you're like, I just, I don't even know what to do. I have to do something. Well, how about this? Be organized. Have any and all the paperwork you need ready to go. Your bag squared away. I'm telling you there is 
a benefit to that. How you present yourself tomorrow to the DPE is going to make a difference. They can kind of smell it on you instantly, ready or not, how ready. Is this person going to be really good on the books, bad in the airplane, vice versa? I'll be, I'll be quite honest, as an instructor, not a DPE, but as an instructor, flying with somebody new, I watch how they pre-flight. I watch how they start up the airplane. I watch their flow. I listen to their first radio call. Like, literally, I could sit there on the right seat, look over, and know pretty quickly how this flight was going to go based on their first radio call. So be organized. Maybe run yourself through the flight that you think you're going to do. If it's a different airport, you have to go to a different airport to, to see the DPE. Make sure you're completely familiar with where you're going, what you're doing. Organization coming across that way, extremely valuable. And this has nothing to do with your weeks and months prior of training. This has everything to do with here tonight and tomorrow. So you can take care of that. You're capable of that. And then the last tip here, if this is not your first FAA check ride, uh, I do want to establish what's obvious. They're all different, right? They're all for a different thing, private, instrument, commercial, multi, uh, CFI. They're all different, but they're largely similar in a sense that once you've done one of these, you kind of know what's coming. You know generally how a DPE is going to handle themselves, generally speaking. And if you've done one before with this individual, wow, you've got you've got a great briefing and a history. They know you. They've passed you before, hopefully. Uh, you know them too. There is some, some trust factor there. Let me also say this. Once you've passed the CFI ride, once you're an, a, a working flight instructor and you go back to maybe get your double I or your MEI, um, wow, what a fun check ride that actually is, seriously, because the DPE is looking over and saying, this person works as a professional pilot. They are instructing students. They are very proficient, usually. And once that mutual trust is gained, this is no longer a check ride. I mean, it is, and some things need to be demonstrated and exhibited, but this is more of a, hey, let's learn something from each other here, you know, more so like, let's make this a valuable experience. Like, I think you're going to take care of passing yourself. You're ready for this. But once once you're an instructor and you do a check ride, a different check ride, it's a great experience, I have to say, because it, the stress and the pressure kind of are taken off you in a certain way. But if this is your commercial and you've already done the instrument in private, again, largely lean on what has worked for you before. Whatever you did the times before, how you acted, how you presented, how you prepared, if you have, look, I'm not one for all the superstitions and rituals, but if you have, th have things you always do, do them again. They're going to help you out tomorrow. But as for tonight, while you're here on YouTube searching for help the night before your check ride and all through the house. No, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. Hopefully these tips helped you. Take a deep breath. Go watch an ASMR video if that helps you out. Uh, and relax and enjoy this. You're going to do great. Before you go, thumbs up on this video if it helped you out. And consider subscribing to this channel because you're going to need it for your new rating that you're going to get tomorrow. Enjoy. <laughs>